so delicious hello guys for this recipe I'm gonna be using two tomatoes a purple onion or red onions and I'm gonna be using four bell peppers in the recipe and so these are the um, vegetables all cut up that's the tomatoes all chopped up and I use my chopped wizard that's the ch um, chopped up onions and then that's the chopped up bell peppers next with the recipe I'm going to be using some fish and I'm going to be using salmon fillets they're frozen and individually wrapped and I get them from um, Target I love them so much I love salmon salmon is like one of my favorite fishes to cook it's easy to cook so I'm just gonna put the salmon I'm gonna be using three fillets I'm gonna put it in water and I'm gonna add some salt to it and then I'm just gonna let it sit on the stove for a few minutes maybe like five minutes to lightly cook and this is what the fish looks like when it's completely done cooking I just let it sit on the stove for about five minutes on low heat and then um, let's get right into the cooking. I'm going to be using coconut oil to saute all my vegetables and the fish. And that's the coconut oil that I'll be using. And I just broke up, I broke up a little piece of the coconut oil because I usually store my coconut oil in the fridge. So that's why it's in the frozen state. And I'm just going to break off a little piece and I'm going to put it in my hot pan to melt. And I'm just going to go ahead and dump it in. Once it's in, I'm just going to let it do its thing and melt in the pot. And then the next thing I'm going to get is the fish. I'm going to take all three pieces and put it in my pan. And I'm going to use my spoon to break it up into little chunks. After that, I'm going to start seasoning. And the first seasoning is chili pepper. I love spicy food. I'm going to put about two teaspoons of that chili pepper in in the fish and then up next I'm going to use some curry powder I'm just gonna put a like a little capful in there up next is my dry thyme and I'm just gonna put a little half a cap in there up next is my rosemary I love rosemary I'm gonna put a little bit in there and then up next is good old salt put a little salt in there up next is some chopped basil and I'm gonna put three little cubes in there. I get it from Trader Joe's. I'm going to put those three little cubes in there. And then up next is crushed garlic. I also get this from Trader Joe's and I am going to put three cubes in there as well. Just dump everything in there. And the third one. So once all that's in there, I'm going to get my spoon and kind of stir everything around, break up all those cubes of the basil and the garlic you know break everything up and mix everything very well together so that you don't have anything I'm just gonna go ahead and close it up for about five minutes on low heat after that five minutes is up it's time to add the vegetables I'm gonna go ahead and add the bell peppers tomatoes goes up next I'm gonna add the tomatoes in there and then the next vegetable that I'm gonna add is the onions I'm gonna dump that in there as well and then I'm just going to make sure everything is completely mixed together. You want the fish and the vegetables to all be intertwined and completely mixed together. So mix everything well. And then just go ahead and cover it back up for five minutes on low heat. You don't want to overcook the vegetables. After five minutes, it's up. Look at that deliciousness right there. It looks so freaking good. And I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, mix it again together. And at this point, it is completely done. It is completely, you can go ahead and taste it if you like. But um, it's completely done. It's ready to be served. So I'm going to go ahead and get my plates and serve. You know, I'm going to serve myself, serve your family, serve your kids because it's just extremely delicious. So now I'm just going to give you a close up of what it looks like. Um, you can see all those nice looking vegetables. Doesn't that look delicious? I want you guys to thumbs up if you want more cooking videos. If you like this video, thumbs up and I'll see ya. Guys, this is so delicious. You guys have to try it out. It is so delicious. And with this, um, you can eat it with, I don't mind eating it alone because it has vegetables and stuff in there. But you can add some cucumbers on the side. If you like potatoes, you can eat it with potatoes. This is a great base for other things you want to eat. Like if you want to eat it with rice, 
you can if you want to eat it with quinoa you can um, potatoes and if you want to eat it with other vegetables you can but this is just so delicious like I can't stop eating so yeah that's it with this video thumbs up if you want if you want more cooking videos and I try to get that out but anyways, I will talk to you guys later, and you guys be safe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!